gotten up because I couldn't sleep. But anyways, I, I, I had something to eat, went back to bed, and I was able to sleep. And that's usually how it goes. So sometimes I don't sleep straight through. I have to get up uh, from sleep, take a bit of a break, uh, take some notes as I'm doing it, as I'm taking that break, you know, from sleeping. have something to eat and then go back to bed again and that's how I usually end up sleeping throughout you know throughout my time uh, and so now I'm, I'm back again it's uh, two it's, it's two o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna start my week my week usually starts on Sunday and ends on Saturday night Saturday night I know if I've if I'm behind or I'm ahead and last last night I knew that I was behind. And the thing is, is that the, part of the problem with being behind in terms of your schedule is that you do now have to make, find ways of, of catching up again. But at the same time, it is behind in terms of the schedule, but not necessarily behind in terms of the overall progress. And uh, let me give you an explanation here. Sometimes what causes you to get behind is because you get stuck on how to, how to proceed. There are, there are a variety of different ways I can go about doing the research and the documentary work that I'm doing. And some ways are better than others. And if you can, if, if, if a slowdown or a, uh, an issue slows you up enough where you can figure out a better way of doing something, then that's actually a benefit because uh, rather than doing what you were doing before, which was, wasn't as good as the way you've resolved to do now, uh, then you've ended up ahead even though on the uh, schedule wise you're behind. And that's what happened last week as I've, I've readjusted my notes, I sort of uh, expanded again because you, know, you, you start off in one way because the notes are small, and as your notes start to grow, then you have to go into your notes and organize them again because they've gotten too large and unwieldy, and you need to reorganize them so that they, when something is too large, they become very difficult to manage, and so you have to break it up into smaller sections and chunks. And that's what happened this week. Things got too large, the notes got too large, a lot of the research notes got too large, and they had to be broken up into smaller chunks, and that's exactly what I did. Uh, in addition to breaking the stuff up into smaller chunks, uh, I've decided to cut back. I think I'm deciding to cut back on one of uh, the news, uh, one of the news broadcasts, one of the uh, the tapings, one of the editions. Instead of doing three editions a week, do one edition a week, and then add in one edition of uh, something known called as an Instavlog. Instavlogs are basically mini documentaries. They're, they're, the, they're the beginnings of a documentary. Uh, and they're basically the essays that will eventually form an entire documentary or a documentary series. Documentaries, uh, I consider documentaries to be beyond an hour, but they're broken up into hour segments uh, so they're easier to watch. Uh, I, I find that Hour, an hour is really a limit that most people can handle before they have to take a break from whatever they're watching, particularly if it's a heavy documentary. Uh, and it's just that what happens after an hour, the, the, mind, start, the, uh, the mind can't absorb any more information. Uh, it's full. And rather than continually cramming stuff in there, back off, give the brain a rest, and you know, at a later date, you know, maybe the day after or whatever, add the next one in. And that's how I'm going to break up the larger documentaries into series and go on it in. And how I'm going to break up the larger documentaries into series and go on it from that way. And the one that I'm bringing, bringing on, I'm bringing two of them on. Uh, one is going to be uh, focusing on um, morality in the world. And this has to do specifically with dealing with uh, sexual slavery. Two, the other one that's going to be on um, oil. It's based off a book called uh, uh, Daniel Jurgen uh, called The Prize. 
Uh, he did a documentary on uh, PBS years ago. Um, and it's basically the standard if people want to go and find out what's going on with oil, issue, with oil issues, what's going on with oil prices. That's the book to go see to find out who all the players are. But the book has some problems with it because it doesn't deal with all players equally. And I want to go back in, redo the book, uh, uh, redo the documentary. But this time, uh, fix up the biases. Bring in the information that's missing. And that way, when you have that documentary put together finally, then you'll be able to go back and say, okay, yeah, this is what's going on here. You'll be able to identify how the oil factor in the world actually plays into geopolitics. And uh, that's kind of uh, where we're, where we're going to go with that. Uh, anyways, uh, that's what's on the schedule for the week. I've got to get the, that extra filming done. And so that means a lot more work for the week, a lot more studying. And right now, I'm at Kitty's Mama at, um, on my YouTube stroll. I started my YouTube stroll last night around, yeah, well, it's around uh, 8 o'clock. It's Terry. Oh, so I was up around 8 o'clock. And uh, it's now uh, 2.15, so I'll continue on with my YouTube stroll. My YouTube stroll always starts with Bertelli and then moves its way through. So right now I'm at Kitty's Mama, and then uh, once I'm done at Kitty's Mama, I'll progress to Clintus, and then from there, oh, you know, as far as I get, we'll see what happens, because I do have to leave for church at 7 o'clock in the morning today, and that will be part of my Greek, and then when I come back, I'll probably be too tired to do anything and just go right to bed. Well, I'll do a vlog, you know, and then go to bed. All right, I will see you in the next segment of the BTS vlog. All right, take it easy. Bye-bye. Times in these areas, so you have a large mixing of Greeks. You don't simply have what they're considered to be European Greeks. Your European Greeks are the later emergents. The earlier Greeks are actually the Asiatic Greeks. And that's where I am. I'm in the uh, Asiatic Greek, and we're kind of, because we're somewhat white, you have an option if you want to. You become European if you want to. And a number of uh, people I know have gone become European, and they're doing uh, the uh, the uh, vegan thing. Uh, but myself, I chose rather than going the vegan thing and doing some of the other stuff like that, uh, the organic foods. I chose simply to go back to the village and do the Pan Asian uh, route for my culture, and uh, much better choice than <laughs> than the uh, the vegan choice than the um, the European choice. Anyways, my eyes are short, shutting on me. I, they're gonna, they're forcing sh shut. I'm having a hard time keeping them open. So, uh, I'll talk to you uh, when I get up. Oh, and I just rem remember I was, gonna, I was gonna say this earlier. I had looked at my progress, and yes, in terms of what I wanted to do, I was down on the week. But in terms of where I kind of ended up. I was up on the week. In other words, I had actually improved some of the way I do my work and some of the research I'd done. I ended up in a better position uh, at the end of the week than I was in the beginning of the week. In other words, the overall progress, inclu uh, not including my uh, work schedule, the work schedule suffered, but the overall progress, uh, there was some overall progress. There was a net gain in progress. So, uh, yeah. I was feeling a bit bad about the week, but now that I start down and realize where I am now, starting off from the week here, in terms of my research, that I'm in a, I'm in a better position than I was the week before, I realized that, uh, yeah, that I, even though I had a bad week, uh, schedule-wise, research-wise, I ended up further ahead, and that's kind of the name of the game, is you want to, on the research side, you, that's what really, what, where you want to lead, where you want to go, and because everything else is built on that so I ended up overall ahead overall I had some progress because I had some progress and that's why all you expect is some progress I'm happy about that so yay for that anyways uh, I will see you for the beginning of the day in the next vlog uh, in a couple hours from now alrighty take it easy <laughs> Sure. 
uh, that uh, Firefox is behaving rather bizarrely in terms of uh, 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 shutting down. Anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. <laughs> My mind is wandering, so uh, I'll leave this uh, for now. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later on. Uh, we'll see if I'm up a little bit long longer, and if I am, then it'll be the beginning of the day. If I'm not, then I'll come back and vlog at the beginning of the day. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Really rough, not really rough in terms of uh, the amount of work I got done. I got a lot of work done. Uh, another news, uh, another edition of the news has gone up. Uh, I'm working on uh, the Thursday, Friday edition of the news. Uh, the Insta vlogs are coming along all right. There's some, so, so I'm still working on some of the, uh, the uh, some of the show notes for that. Uh, but the schedule, the the, the filming schedule is coming along pretty well. The number of people viewing the site, uh, the channel is growing, so I'm happy for that. So they're, they're, we're going towards a good end of the year. Basically, December 31st is my year end. Because uh, uh, December 31st, uh, January 1st, is my anniversary. That's when I uh, began YouTube. Uh, I think it was 2012. So it's going to be uh, uh, either my uh, third or fourth year on YouTube. Uh, I have to sort of check to see when I actually started. When it was, you know, it was in 2012. Then it would be, it would be 2013 would be my first year. 2014 would be my second year. So I, I think it was 2012. I can't remember that far back. I have without checking my dates. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I was on my YouTube stroll. I did my YouTube stroll yesterday, and the thing is, I don't always get. I don't always get that far. I have my lists are kind of large, so I, I have a lot of uh, places I go to. I usually sit, I start off with uh, Bertelli Clinta, so I'm going to what I'm doing now. Is I'm going to have something to eat. I'm going to have a banana. I'm going to have some cereal. Uh, then as I'm watching uh, Bertelli Clintus. Uh, I'm gonna check out see if Kitty Mama, Kitty's mama put up anything extra. Cause sometimes they put stuff extra up during during the, during the week as well too. They usually just do once a week, but sometimes they put up extra. Uh, then I also go by the shade tards, and I made it through uh, my my YouTube friends. I always I made it up to uh, Miss uh, C Star Twelve, and um, it is a pretty interesting vlog. Uh, one of the things, in the, the funny things in it, I, I don't, I think the guy is kind of joking, but I think the guy is also kind of serious. He's a, a, a Jewish person, and he disapproves of Vlogmas. But the problem is, is that I, I know a lot of Jews do disapprove of Christmas, and there, this is an issue for them. But I don't really understand why it's an issue, because it's a bizarre type of issue. If you look, if you examine the issue carefully, then you realize that there's a phobia there. There's a fear. That there's a hatred of Christmas. And it's a bizarre hatred because Christ was a Jew. So what happens is that you have a group of people of nationality hating a Jew for not being Jewish enough. In other words, they don't. Christ didn't subscribe exactly to what they believe. Uh, they were, he uh, was he was different from what they believed. He, he didn't believe in the self righteous behavior of the Pharisees, who became the uh, who produced the Talmud. The Pharisees became the rabbinical Jews of today, and the Pharisees were self righteous at the particular point in time. And uh, Christ came and said, you know, being self righteous, yes, following the laws is is what you should be doing, but the thing being self righteous is wrong. That's a way to this a path to condemnation. Uh, and, of course, the Pharisees who were in these high places didn't like that. And as the Pharisees ended up wipe, winning out and uh, destroying the Kohanes, destroying the Levites, the, the, if you would know someone with the name Kohane or the name uh, Levi, Levi uh, these were the two different class, uh, two other classifications of Jews. Uh, they were statuses that was a part of their status. And these were uh, two other classifications of Jews. Uh, they were statuses that was a part of their status. And the thing is, is th these were eventually wiped out and deleted from Jewish history 
and all that was left were the Pharisees, who were the rabbis, and that's the rabbinical class of Judaism. Uh, this is what survives today. So only a fragment of the original Judaism exists today, and that, and the, that fragment is the Pharisaical uh, Judaism or the rabbinical Judaism. And they hate Christ, who was a Jew. He wasn't a, he wasn't a Pharisaical Jew. He wasn't a rabbinical Jew, but he was a Jew. And you have all this animosity towards Christ. You know, people disapproving of him and saying, oh, I, I don't celebrate Christmas. I'm Jewish. Well, wait a minute here. Understand that Christ was a Jew. He wasn't European. Understand that Christ was a Jew and, and that, that Christianity wasn't European. It was Jewish. Uh, it was Hebrew in the beginning. Uh, you need to understand that. We go back and look at it. You go, well, why do you oppose Christ? Why do you oppose Christmas? Why you know? Why do you oppose anything with Christ in it? Uh, if he, Christ was a Jew, I thought if you're supposed to be celebrating Jewishness, you're supposed to be celebrating Judica, the, the Judica. Why go to all this extreme, all this angst over one Jew? I mean, I've never seen so much hatred towards one person in a, in a, in a nationality before. You don't see it anywhere else. I mean, look at the, the, did you see a hated figure uh, the way you do in 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 in, in Judaism? Do you in, in in the Jewish nationality? Do you see a hated figure like that in, in Hinduism? No. You do see see, see a hated figure like that in India? No. So the question is, well, why does the, why do the Jews have this one Jewish figure, Christ, who they hate so much? Anyways, that's sort of my thought for today. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get back on my, my, my uh, breakfast, sort of, <laughs> at 11 o'clock at night. And I'll start my uh, YouTube stroll. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. Uh, I'm vlogging every day, but more often than not, it's only, it, it, if I'm having a problem, the vlog will fall back to once a day, so rather than being... A space between days, you know, instead of having days when there aren't any vlogs, there are now just, uh, uh, there aren't as many vlogs during the day. And so, basically, right now I'm up, uh, I'm working through my, uh, uh, YouTube stroll. Right now I'm at One Crazy Life for me. Uh, that's, uh, another vlog that I watch. Uh, I like these, I like these longer vlogs, uh, because if, if a vlog is long, like, like a half hour, 45 minutes even, uh, it allows me to keep working in between, where I don't have to keep stopping my work and <clears throat> uh, looking for another vlog to watch while I'm doing it. So uh, it, it, the longer vlogs uh, give me the ability to um, work while I'm uh, watching the TV. While I'm watching TV, in other words, I can get uh, um, the TV is kind of in the background. Uh, I'm doing my work here, doing my study, doing my research, taking my notes. Uh, and everything else is on the background, so, and I have the ability to sort of split my focus and get the work done. So, uh, and that's kind of what's happening here. This is a, uh, I'm going to start bringing in more content into here. There's more stuff as we do the YouTube show. I'll talk, I'll talk about things that, uh, I see going on, on on YouTube. I'll give my opinions on things. Uh, then from there... Uh, I think we're also going to bring in some educational material because I'm going to connect this to uh, another uh, another segment of the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV network that's being developed over uh, the next two months, over December and January. A new segment to the t to the channel to the network is going to be developed. It's called uh, Akadi AKU TV. It's basically an educational channel. Uh, this channel is aimed at uh, people who want to do homeschooling to bring it into the standards of independent uh, research or independent study. So they can have access to more advanced uh, uh, studying techniques and more advanced academics, if they will, if you will, if, you, if, you, if that's the way you want to view, view things. But right now, the the uh, standard homeschooling uh, environment is basically textbook. So it's whatever's in the textbook that's what's taught. But the thing is, as I said before, the textbook is not always exactly right, uh, and there are things in the textbooks. There's the reality to uh, the real research that simply doesn't get included in textbooks. So it doesn't matter 
what, where the textbook come from, the textbooks are always limited. If you want to take those limitations off, you need to learn research. You need to learn how to uh, develop and organize a library. And that's what's going to be happening in here. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to develop your research, how to uh, move forward. And you can use these sort of these background notes, the behind the scenes notes here. Uh, and that's what BTS says, behind the scenes. You're seeing behind the scenes of a research facility. This is how we get our materials out. This is how we uh, do our research. This is how we organize. Prepared to have what you know challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Nice things. Not always perfect because it, you, you're not, this isn't the finished product. What you're seeing is you're seeing, I know what it is, behind the scenes, you're seeing the construction of what would have, what will be eventually be seen by the public as, as, as a final product. And the thing is, what the public sees as a final product is not all there is to it. There's actually more that's not published here because it's not it's not designed for uh, general public's eyes. It's, there are two views to to research. There's stuff that 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 you can put out to the public that you know anyone can see, and there's stuff that doesn't get out. And the, the both these two things together makes up the view of the universe, um, my, my constructed view of the universe, and that's what my theory is, is to, construct it, is to construct a view, an understanding of how the universe works. So, um, and that's where we are. <laughs> so at, uh, this is at uh, close to 5.30 in the morning, it's 5.23 now, so. Uh, I think I'm going to end it here. Keep it short. I've got some more work to do to get back to my work. And I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, take it easy and goodbye. December, no, December 19th, 2014. Yeah, needless to say, my mind is really off because I'm heavily fatigued again. Uh, I'm gonna take some time off, just, well, a couple hours off to do some extra sleeping. Uh, that way, uh, when I come back, I'll be you know, back uh, a couple hours from now, maybe around two, three o'clock in the morning. I'll come back and uh, resume my usual study schedule. But I do need a break for a bit, so I think a couple extra hours of sleep will do the trick. Anyways, uh, I just finished Bertelli and having something to drink. And now I'm off to Clintus TV. And then eventually to bed. <laughs> Alrighty, I will talk to you um, in the next segment of the BTS Vlogs. Alrighty, take it easy. Bye-bye. <sighs> well, we're back again. <laughs> Time for another BTS Vlog. Um, let's see here. It is 21 hours and 52 minutes into the day of Saturday, December 6, 2014. I'm not too sure if this is the beginning of the day. Um, because I am tired. I pulled an all uh, somewhat of an all-nighter last night. Uh, I had a lot of studying to do. A lot of information is coming in for, for the news broadcast, for all the different uh, uh, Insta-vlogs that I'm working on, all the different sort of the sections of the Insta-vlog. Uh, there's a lot of information coming in, it, it, and that's it, that's sort of a good thing. When you're finding information, you're 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 finding the sources. That's something that's good, and you're happy for it. The uh, issue is is that in many cases uh, there is an overwhelming amount of information that uh, causes you to <laughs> because you have to read you have to read and look through everything. Uh, and take your notes, and then from your notes, you start to start seeing, well, okay, what information is actually here, what's good, what's not good. And it takes it takes hours. It's, a, it's, it's, it's an arduous task to go through things one by one. And one of the things I liked about watching uh, the, the, the channels like uh, um, Disney and Nick is I could put on a channel, like Disney or Nick, you know, Disney Channel or Nick, Nickelodeon, and there were enough good shows on there that uh, I could do my work and have something on uh, while I did my 12-hour day. 
but cables become very expensive and uh, uh, might I uh, had to come to a choice to choose cable over internet because I wanted a higher speed internet and I couldn't afford both cable and internet uh, and I decided to go with internet because I realized that there was enough content if I sat down and worked on it hard enough that I could find enough content uh, to replace the uh, f to replace uh, Disney and Nick and that's what I've done I've sort of gone through my list here I uh, watched uh, Bertelli, I just finished watching. Just finishing watching Kitty's Mama. I'm on my way over to Clintus TV next, um, and I'll also be looking at uh, going to to Mommy and Gracie, uh, The Elastic. I have a whole list of uh, channels that I go to. I don't rely. I don't rely on the YouTube subscription feed. I had rely. If if you rely on YouTube, YouTube subscri subscription feed, you're never you're never gonna, never gonna be able to cut the cable. The subscription feed is not good enough yet. To, so it, it doesn't allow you to organize yourself to see. You know, there's stuff you want to see all the time, but there's also stuff you want to see. You, you don't want to get rid of everything just to see the stuff you want all the time, but you you do want to be able to be, to sort of peruse your list and sort of once you've done your main viewing, do you, is there something on the side that you want to do? You know, and that's why I have a main list, and then from the main list, I have various sub lists that I can go through. And now I'm working it just the way I have on cable TV. It's like it's like a remote control. Instead, of the, instead in this case, it's a, a list of bookmarks. There's a bookmark. There's a main category. And then there are subcategories. Uh, and then there are side categories. You know, there's a whole variety of things. So if I want to change my flavor, let's say I want to watch, I'm a, I'm a surfing fan. I like surfing because, again, there's a lot of physics in there or gymnastics. And I want to watch, say, gymnastics channel. I have a list for gymnastics channels. I have a list for surfing channels. There are uh, travel vlogs. People go along traveling. Uh, there are backpackers, and you can do, you can set up a list for backpacking vlogs. So uh, you can go along with these backpackers. Uh, the uh, there are people who ride the rails. You know, they hop on trains, and you can watch these channels. They they have YouTube channels, and they upload to YouTube. So you can watch that. You can watch people. Uh, you know. Um, uh, ride the rails, and there are a ton of if you for documentaries. There's tons of stuff out there for documentaries. Uh, there is enough music festivals out there. For, you know, if you want to use YouTube for music, you can do that as well. I mean, it's you know, there, there's enough on YouTube uh, on its own content, without going to the, sort of the major content. And this is particularly if you're outside the United States. If you're, if you're in the United, if you're in the United States, you can get Disney, you can get Nick, you can, all those shows are there. Uh, on YouTube, but if you're outside of the United States, you can't get that stuff. There's enough content, open and free content, that you can actually use YouTube to replace your your cable TV uh, package. And what I've done is I've dropped the cable TV cable TV TV package and gone with a higher level of internet package. And this sort of seems to fit the bill for me. So, uh, time is just about up. Uh, and I, said, I don't know whether I'm going to be starting my day right now or not. It depends on after I watch Clintus TV how I'm feeling. I'm still feeling a little groggy. I may end up going to uh, bed for uh, another two hours and get up later on. There's another video uploading. Right now there's another video uploading, so there is more content coming on, uh, on, your, uh, on this way for uh, Cyborg Alpha TV. If you look at Cyborg Alpha TV 2, where I do a lot of my listing and posting, uh, we're going to start... Uh, uh, posting more content on a regular basis. Almost every day there will get, there's going to be content coming up to uh, Cyborg Alpha TV and Cyborg Alpha TV 2. So uh, look for that and uh, I hope to see you more on the YouTube. On, on YouTube. <laughs> Alrighty. See you in the next segment. Alright. Bye bye. Well, hello everybody. Yep, yeah. it's just about three o'clock in the morning, and today's uh, I decided to sort of change up my vlogging style a little bit, add in a bit more uh, uh, content, and the overall goal here will be to sort of, uh, uh, you know, as some things move off the uh, BTS vlogs and on into other areas of the way, as as the uh, various different shows develop. Uh, I always need to bring new things in, so uh, one of the things I decided to do is rather than vlogging uh, just once a day and giving you a description, uh, I'll vlog throughout the day and 
let you know how things are going. As I said, I, I, I wasn't sure exactly what was going to happen today, but it looks like I'm uh, back in oscillating sleep again. Uh, I got up around uh, 1 30, 2 o'clock, had something to eat, did some bit of work around here. It's now just about 3. It's, uh, tw it's uh, 2 hours and 54 minutes into the day of Saturday, December 6, 2014. So, uh, and I'm still feeling really groggy. I've done some of the script work for uh, the videos I need to do tomorrow. Basically, I have to film just about I have to film just about two videos a day or a video and a half a day to get caught up to where I need to be. Uh, so I think this whole uh, December is going to be rather uh, nuts and sort of uh, very, a lot of pressure to get all that work done. But it is getting done. Uh, I am sort of growing. The network itself is growing, so that's a good thing. Uh, and I am going to try to bring in more uh, varied content in here as uh, new things start to develop. So, but yeah, <laughs> it is hard vlogging. It's always hard. Re it's hard re remembering what things you want to say, and sometimes you get lags in here. But I am feeling tired again. <sighs> and there's a yawn. So uh, I'm gonna go back to bed because uh, I have to be up by seven o'clock in the morning so I can go to church and do my studying there. And there's a whole another whole whole uh, mess of stuff that I have to study. That's my uh, ancient language la ancient language study. It's uh, that's what I do. That's where I do my studying there in church. So and my church is is not the standard church. Church actually means in Greek means house of the Lord. And it is basically a house. It's like going to my se a second house for me. And at the end of the at church is a meal. And so uh, I'm going to have a feast uh, after church. This is going to be one of my uh, uh, Christmas feasts, if you will. Anyways, uh, I will talk to you later. I'll see you later in the BTS vlog. I don't know whether it's going to be tomorrow or later on today. Hopefully it's late, more, you know, later on today. I'll come back and give you a brief uh, overview of things. Uh, how the how the lunch went and uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'll see you then. All right, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.